We continue now at the top of Daf Tzadi Vavam and Beis and Maseches Psachim. This is Psachim Daf ninety six B. The Mishnah had made a strange statement that Pesach Doros is for seven days. The Gemara says, "What are you talking about? Karban Pesach is not seven days." So the Gemara answers, "Ela Chometz." Rather, that line is going on Chometz. Rashi says, "V'Ela Chometz." The Isra Chimutz. no, I call Shiva. The Mishnah must mean that the Isra Chometz applies for all seven days. Now the problem is Michlal de Laila Echa de Katani Masnisan Be Pesach Mitzrayim a Chometz Kali. That would imply that the one night that we're talking about Pesach Mitzrayim is also going on Chometz. The and what it means is as follows: Ve'in Chimutzo Noe Gel Laila Echad that the Isser of Chometz applied one night by Pesach Mitzrayim. U Pesach Doros Noe Kol Shiva and Pesach Doros the Isser of Chometz is all seven days. That's what the Gemara says: Michlal de Pesach Mitzrayim Laila Echad Vesulo. Does that mean to imply that by Pesach Mitzrayim the Isser Chometz was just one night. Vatanya, but we learned in a bride. Sir Rabbi Yosi Aglili, Omer Rabbi Yosi Aglili says, Minayin lepesach mitzrayim, shein chimutzei noeg ele yom echad. It doesn't say it was just one night. Laila echad v'sulo. It says it was an entire day. The din of, uh, the prohibition of chametz was one day. How do you know that? Talmud Lomer, because the Pasuk says, lo yochal chametz. It says, don't eat chametz v'samachle. Hayom atem yotzim. It says the word hayom right next to it, mashma the entire day. So the Gemara says, Rather, what the Mishnah means is as follows, One night, and the same is true by Pesach Doros, and the Chomet is all day, not just one night. And Pesach Doros, the Yisr Chomet is for seven days. Rashi says, Here's what it means, It's eaten quickly in one night. Vehu adin de Pesach Doros nami laila echad and Pesach Doros also is one night. U Pesach Mitzrayim chimutzo noe kol hayom and by Pesach Mitzrayim the din of chametz applied all day. U Pesach Doros kol shevan Pesach Doros that applied for all seven days. And the Gemara continues with the Mishnah. Amar Rabbi Yosher Rabbi Yosher says Shamati shetmuras Pesach kreva utmuras Pesach ein a kreva. Rabbi Yosher makes a statement that I heard that the tmura of a carbon Pesach is brought. As a carbon, and then I heard that there's another kind of tmura of carbon pesach that is not brought as a carbon. The only lefarish, and I have no explanation for what I heard. I don't understand the statement. Amar Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva says ani lefarish. Let me explain the statement. Ha pesach shenimtza kodem shchitas ha pesach. Let's say you have a carbon pesach that you found before you actually shechted its substitute carbon pesach. So the halach is yira ad she yistoy. You have to let it graze until it develops a mum. V'yimacher, then you sell it. V'yavi bedam of shlamim. And then you use the money, you use the money that you get to bring a carbon shlamim. Vechain tmuraso, and the same halacha would apply when you have a tmura of a carbon pesach. We'll see all this in Rashi. However, achar shchitas pesach, if you find this animal, this carbon pesach that you had designated, you find it after you already shech the carbon pesach, then kariv shlamim, then it's brought as a shlamim. Vechain tmuraso, and the same would apply by its tmura. So that's what it means. Sometimes it's brought, and sometimes it's not brought. And Rashi over here says, Shamati mei rabosai, Rabbi Yoshua says, I heard from my Rabbeim, Shatmur asam ha-pesach kreva shlomim achar ha-pesach. I heard it is brought as a shlomim. Utmur asam ha-pesach heina kreva, v'yesh tmur asam ha-pesach heina kreva, hi atzma shlomim. There's another kind that's not brought as a shlomim. El ha-roat shi yistai v'mum, you wait till it develops a mum, v'timacher, you sell it, V'yavi b'damah shlam, and then you bring with its money a shlamim. The Moser Pesach Karif shlam. The halach is if you have extra carbon Pesach, you bring it as a carbon shlamim. V'yainli lafare shachachti aleza shamati tikarei v'aleza shamati tira. I just don't remember which kind you bring and which kind you you let it graze until it gets a mum. And so Rabbi Kiva explained how Pesach shavad. The case is like this: you designate an animal as a carbon Pesach and it gets lost. V'hivrashachir tachtav. So you get another animal, you designate that instead. Vinimtsa Harishan, then you find the original uh, animal, Kodem Shita Sasheni. Now if you find the original animal before you shech the substitute animal, the second animal, Tahaya Omid Lafanenu Bisha Shita, so now the first animal is there by the time of the Shita, you're just not shechting it. you you got another animal. Hare Kovato Shas Shita Bashem Pesach. So Rabbi Kiva says what happens is is the moment of Shita says this animal, which you're not using anymore as a carbon pesach, has a shame pesach. And you're actively pushing it up, p- pushing it away with your hands. You're saying, I don't want to use it as a carbon pesach. I'm using the substitute. So the halach is lo yikrav od atzmo shlamim. That's what we mean. You can't bring that as a shlamim either. The einzem moser ha pesach. That's not called moser ha pesach. 
Ela Pesach Dichoi. That's called a pushed off carbon Pesach. So that's really what, what Rabbi Akiva is explaining, is that if you find this carbon Pesach before Shrita, then really when you're saying, I don't want to bring this because I have another one, I lost this one and I had gotten a replacement, you're really pushing it away. That's not called Moser Pesach. That's called Dichoi. That's called being pushed away. You don't bring it as a Shlomim. You let it graze, develop a mum. And then what does it mean, Tmura? So, Vechein Tmura. So, the same would be true by a Tmura, meaning, Imhemir hu bo behemas chulen acharechein. Hareyu kamau. Let's say you had an animal that was chulen, and you made it a Tmura. You said it's going to be an exchange. The halach of Tmura is you take an animal and say, I want to exchange that carbon and make this a carbon instead. The halach is they both are carbonas. They don't exchange, but the Tmura becomes identical to the original. So, the Tmura is really like a copy of that carbon Pesach. So, if you have a Tmura of that Pesach, the same would be true of the Tzmura. You can't bring it as a Shlomim. Aladama, you just get its value. You, again, you let it uh, you let it graze, you sell it, you use its value. Now, if on the other hand, you already shechted the substitute, then Nimsa, then you found the old one. It wasn't around at the time of Shechita, and it's not called the Shem Pesach, it's not called the Karban Pesach. Therefore, at that time, it wasn't pushed away. It could be brought as a Shlomim. It itself can be brought as a shlamim. Now the truth is, it's unnecessarily confusing. Because Rabbi Yeshua could have just said, I heard there are some carbon Pesachs that are brought, and some that are not brought. What do you have to involve Tamura over here for? The Tamura just makes it more complicated. The fact they have a Tamura, the Tamura is the same halacha as the, as the animal itself. The fact that you had a animal that you made a Tamura of the carbon Pesach, that just takes on the same status. So what's the point? So that's what the Gemara asks right away. Why not just say, you have some carbon Pesachs that you bring, and some carbon Pesachs you sell them, you don't bring them. So Hakamash Malon, so the Gemara says, you know why we're saying Tmur, it's to teach us the Iko Tmur HaSapesach to Lo Karva, that there is a Tmur HaSapesach that is not brought. Rashi over here says, the Iko Tmur HaSapesach to Lo Karva, the Lo Amrin and Mitzchila Shlomim He. You don't say that the Tamura should right away always be a Shlomim. Maybe you would say, let's say I made a tmura of this animal before the shechita. So then this already, this is just a tmura. It's not even the original. That shouldn't be a shame Pesach. Maybe you would, you would say it shouldn't be pushed off by the shechita. The chiddush is that even a tmura can be nikva as a, as a shame karim Pesach. You pushed it off. That's the point, that just like the carbon Pesach itself that got lost, if you found it before Shechita, it gets, it's considered Dichoy. The same is going to be true by the Tzmura. And the Gemara continues, Itmar, we have the following Machlokas Amoroim relevant to understanding our Mishnah. Rabbi Omar Kodem Shechita Ulaachar Shechita Shaninu. Rabbi says, when you learn our Mishnah, the issue is before Shechita or after Shechita. Rabbi Zeira, Amar, but Rabbi Zeira says, Kodem Chatzos Ulaachar Chatzos Shaninu. The real issue is not the moment of Shechita, but it's the moment of Chatzos. And Rashi over here says, when our Mishnah talks about finding it before or after Shechita, it means the moment of Shechita. It's not the time of Shechita, which is Chatzos. For example, let's say the animal was lost at Chatzos. But if it was found before the actual Shechita of that second animal, then it's considered Nidcha, it's pushed off. But the other opinion says, no, it's Chatzos that makes it. It doesn't matter when you actually do the shechita. What matters is whether or not it was found by chatzos. Shas chatzos yu kva aso pesach. If when chatzos comes, im nimsa kodem chatzos kvatia chatzos share nira. If it is found before chatzos, then it's considered ready for shechita, so to speak, and pushed off. V'chilo akrave dachi. That's considered dachia. Avol nimsa acher chatzos. But let's say you found the animal after chatzos. Afilo nimsa kodem shechita. Even if it's before shechita, ein kan kviyas v'lo dichoi. That's not called dichoi. So that's here machlok kasamoroi. Whether you go by the Mishnah means actual Shechita or it just means the time of Shechita Chatzos. So the Gemara asks the obvious question. According to Rabbi Zeru, says Chatzos, that's not what the Mishnah says. The Mishnah says Shechita Sapesach, the time of actual Shechita. So Ema Kodem Zman Shechita Sapesach. So the Gemara says, you're right. You have to change the text to mean before the time of the Shechita Sapesach. 
And the Gemara says, Kitanoi, this is actually a Machlokas Tanoim. HaPesach Shenimza Kodem Shechita Yireh Laachar Shechita Yikarev. According to Tanakam, it goes by actual Shechita. If it's found before Shechita, then we let it graze. If it's found after Shechita, it can be brought as a Shlomim. Rabbi Eliezer, Omer, Rabbi Eliezer says, Kodem Chatzos Yireh Laachar Chatzos Yikarev. It goes by Chatzos. You find it before Chatzos, you let it graze. You find it after Chatzos, then it's brought as a Karben Shlomim. Again, the Mishnah said, if you find it after the Shritas HaPesach, it's brought as a carbon Shlomim. Omar Rava, Rava says, The case over here, in terms of after the Shrita, is you find the animal after Shrita, and you create the Tamur after Shrita. But let's say you find the animal before Shrita, but then you only make the Tamura after the Shrita. The Tamura is made, what do you make the Tamura again? A Tamura is when you say, this animal is going to be an exchange and basically it becomes a copy of the original. So in this case, if you found the animal before Shrita, even if you made the Tamura after Shrita, the fact of the matter is, the original was Dichoy, it was Kedusha Dichoya. So the Tzmura also is considered Kedusha Dichoya, the low carbon, you don't bring it. It's only true if you find it after Shrita and you do the Tzmura, so then the original animal is not Dichoy, the original one is still brought as a Shlamim, so then the Tzmura is brought as, as a Shlamim as well. So the Gemara says, Eisve Abai, Abai asks the following question. It says in the Pasuk, Im Kesev, it says if it's a sheep, Matam and Lomar Im Kesev, why does the Pasuk say Im Kesev? L'Rabos Tmura Sapesach Achar Apesach Shekar Vashlamim. What it means to say is you can have a situation of a Tmura Sapesach after the Karban Pesach that it is brought as a Karban Shlamim. So the Gemara says, what is this Pasuk really coming to include? It's coming to include some kind of Tmura of Karban Pesach that's brought as a Shlamim. But what exactly is the case? Hey, Chidami, what's the case? Ilema Shenimza Achar Shchita. If the case is you found the original animal after Shchita, Veheimer Bo Achar Shchita, and you made a Tmura after Shchita, so Pshita, that's again, that's obvious, because the original is brought as a Shlamim. Of course the Tmura is brought, is brought as a Shlamim. Lamoli Kra, you won't need a Pasuk for that. Bryce over here saying you're learning it from a Pasuk. Obviously, the Pasuk is talking about where you find the original animal before Shechita. So the original animal really is considered Dichoy. And then you make the Tmur after Shechita, and we're saying no. We're saying if you made the Tmur after Shechita, so the Tmur can be brought as a Shlomim, even though the original is not. So the Gemara says, Lo, no, Leolam Shechita. The case really is where you find the animal after Shechita, and you also do the Tmur after Shechita, but then it seems so obvious. If the original already is brought as a Shlomim, of course the Tmur is. The Mar says, Ukra, Asmachta, Bialma. You're right, the Pasuk is not really the source. It's just an Asmachta. And really, it is obvious if the, uh, if the original carbon is brought as a Shlomim, of course the Tzmura is brought as a Shlomim. And the Gemara says, okay, if the Pasuk is just an Asmachta, what's the Pasuk actually for? And we should just note over here what Rashi says, what is extra in this Pasuk? Im kesiv humakrav gave shlomim ksiv. This is a Pasuk by Shlomim. Im yeseirahu, the matzi lamecht of kesiv humakrav. The word im is extra. That's one shot of Rashi. Inami kesiv kadarish, where the word kesiv is extra. Daksiv lelminem im minatzon karbono, viparsha tachtona, amor vim ez karbono. It says sheep. Then it says a little later goat. So mechlal dat hashta be kesiv iris. So what kind of tzon are we talking about in the beginning? Must be a kesev. Dein lach od bitzon el kesev. The only other kind of tzon is a kesev. So it's again one of those words, either im or kesev is extra. In any case, the Gemara is saying, so what do we do with the pasuk? If this brice is only an asmachta, so the Gemara answers lechiratanya. That pasuk is for what is taught in the following brice. So kesev, the pasuk says kesev a sheep. The rabbi says a pesach la'alia. That comes to include that when it comes to karmen pesach, the alia is brought on the mizbeach. The tail is also put onto the mizbeach. Kishu Omer Im Kesev, when it says Im Kesev, the Rabos, that comes to include Pesach Sha'av Rishonoso. Let's say you have a Pesach that's over a year old, so it's not brought anymore, it's too old to be a carbon Pesach. It's brought as a Shlamim, or Shlamim Haboyin Machmas Pesach, or any carbon Shlamim that's brought because of a carbon Pesach, meaning you had originally separated the animal as a carbon Pesach, and then you brought a different animal instead. So now this one becomes a Shlamim. Those animals are included, L'chol Mitzvah Shlamim. They get all the Mitzvahs of Shlamim that are brought with them, Shaton Tzmicha, they need to have smicha, you lean on it, you need to bring libations, you need to wave the chaz and the shok. And then when the Pasuk interrupts, and it says, if a person brings a goat, that's an interruption in the discussion, that teaches us that when it comes to a goat, there's no alia that's brought on them as beach. And the Gemara continues, some have Rava or Rabba's original statement, 
It's really going on the ratio of the Mishnah. This is referring to Amar Rava or Amar Rabba when he says, Lo shanu el Some people put a statement on the beginning of the Mishnah. The Mishnah said, Hapesach shenimtza kodem shechita hapesach. Again, this was going on the case where you find the original animal before shechita. So the halacha was, Yirat shiestoyev, you have to let it graze until it develops a mum. V'yimacher v'yavi bedam of shlamim v'chein t'muraso. Then it gets sold and you use the money to bring a karmen shlamim. And the same halacha is true by the t'mura. And on that statement of the Mishnah, my Rava, Rava says, or Rabba says, Lo shanu el shenimtza kodem shechita. This is only true if you find the original animal before shechita. V'heimir bo kodem shechita. And also you do the tzmura before shechita. Avol nimza kodem shechita, but let's say the person finds the original animal before shechita, vehemer boach shechita, but the tzmura is only made after shechita, so then it goes by when the tzmura was made, tzmura so crave a shlamim. In that case, the tzmura is brought as a shlamim. You do not uh, treat it as the original according to this version. My time, what's the reason? Kikava shechita midi dechazile. The shechita only goes on something which is fit, something which is ready. Midi de lo chazile lo kava, but something which is not there yet, there's no kaviyas. Rashi over here says, Midi de lo chazile shadayin lo hukdash, something that wasn't yet made hektash, the tmur was not even created yet, so then the shechita is not going to do anything, it's not going to be considered dichoy. On the contrary, in that case, because the tmur wasn't made yet, even though it's the tmur of something which there was dichoy on it, it itself is not there yet, so there's no dichoy, it's brought as a shlamim. So the Gemara again, Esve Abaya, Abaya asks on Rabba, Im Kesev, it says in the Pasuk, Im Kesev, Matam with Lomer Larabos, Tmura Sapesach, Achra Pesach, Shakreva Shlomim. Again, it said in the Brai, so why does the Pasuk say Im Kesev? It comes to say that, comes to include that the Tmura Sapesach, after the Karim Pesach, is brought as a Shlomim, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daftzadi Zayin Amud Aleph.